What's happening? I don't know. It just suddenly... Look, the fuel gauge is empty. So that's it. Since you've broken the seals in Silverant, there's not enough mana in this world. And that means... We're gonna fall! Ah! Ah! I think we managed to avoid destroying them completely. But they're useless unless we get some fuel. What's the fuel? Coal? Coal? Oh, jeez. How do you guys manage to actually live in Silverant? Then magic, I assume. Perhaps the lightning that Volt produces? Then all we have to do is have Sheena summon Volt, right? I haven't made a pact with Volt. Oh. Well, then I guess we'll just have to leave these here. Oh, and here I thought Magi technology was infallible. What's that? That's the Tower of Salvation. Why is that here? This is Tefeala, right? Of course. The Tower of Salvation appears in the Flourishing World. The Tower also appeared on your side after Colette received the Oracle, right? Two worlds. Two towers. What about the Holy Ground? The Church of Martel is also over here, correct? Is the holy ground called Carlon? Yes. The place where the Tower of Salvation lies is the holy ground of Carlon. The same is in your world. The holy ground of Carlon is where the peace treaty was signed to end the ancient war. There can't be two of them. Are you sure yours isn't a fake? We have records in our museums that depict how the hero Mythos called the two ancient kings to the holy ground of Carlon in order to forge a peace treaty. And such records exist on our side as well. Instruments used to sign the treaty can be found in the Palma Costa Academy. So, either one side is fake, or maybe they're actually both real. Lloyd, that's not possible. Don't get mad, I was just kind of saying stuff. Anyway, let's get going. It's true we aren't going to get anywhere by pondering about it here. Wow, it's our first adventure in Tetheala. Genus, this isn't a field trip.
gonna be a piece of cake. What a photon! No Are way. you okay? First aid! No way! How you like that? Gonna be Tempest! Photon! <laughs> Was that a bit too much? Watch where you're going! Now, now, settle down, my darling honeys. Hi there, my little cool beauty. Are you hurt? 
Master Zelos himself has deigned to speak to this girl, and yet look how she acts! Just look at her. It's not even festival time, and yet she's dressed up in an angel costume. How stupid are you? Can you believe the nerve of this hag? What did you say? Genus, let it go. She's obviously never looked in a mirror. What did you say? You're all behaving like children. Now, now, settle down. Are you upset, my little angel? You know, I bet you're as cute as a button when you smile. Ah! Master Zellos! Whoa! Wow, that was a surprise. You sure are strong, my little angel. You certainly startled me. Well, who are you? No offense, but I'm not interested in talking to guys. I hate this guy already. Ooh, what's your name, beautiful? Give me your name and I'll give you mine. Hey, you copied Lloyd. Uh, now that I've heard someone else say it, it sounds kind of arrogant. Oh. My, you don't know me? Well, well, I guess I still have a ways to go. <laughs> Master Zelos, let's go! Oh, yes, yes, of course. Well then, I'll see you again. My lovely lady, my cute little angel, and, uh, you other people. What was that all about? What an ass! He was grinning like an idiot the entire time. What's wrong with that guy? He had an X-Sphere on him. What? No way! So that's how he reacted so fast. Just who is that guy? <laughs>